the Ross Camp Institute in Sarasota invited veterans and military personnel to an open house today. ABC 7's Alex Redmond shows us how new research information showcased at that event may be able to help vets in the future. Veterans and military personnel visit the Ross Camp Institute to learn about research and clinical trials that may be of particular interest to them. Such as combat related conditions like traumatic brain injury, Gulf War illness and post-traumatic stress disorder. And then Alzheimer's disease of course is a risk for everybody in the aging population. 93 year old World War II veteran Melanie Eckstein was in the WAX or Women's Army Corps in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. She says it's not the first time she met with scientists, although she didn't know then what they were working on. These uh, people were there making the atom bomb which I did not know about until it was dropped. The open house honoring Veterans Day consisted of a tour of the facilities, research presentations, and a free luncheon with faculty. I'm so impressed with the depth here and all these scientists. One of the problems that veterans face, particularly those with Gulf War illness and PTSD, is that there is not a definitive diagnostic. Medically retired Marine Corps Sergeant Scott Ramler concurs. Even the doctors that recognized it, the VA didn't recognize it and ignored it. So now that they've got their information together and they recognize it, now they can start to treat it and uh, 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 rate your disability based on it. President and CEO Dr. Fiona Crawford says Ross Camp has an upcoming Gulf War illness trial. That is going to be conducted through our clinic where we're going to be working with patients with Gulf War illness to identify better biomarkers. Dr. Crawford says something you can measure that confirms conditions like PTSD or Gulf War illness, it would transform things for our veterans. Reporting in Sarasota, Alex Redmond, ABC7, your Suncoast News.